upgrades. Today, we're going to be building this BNSF SD40-2. And then once we've built it, I'm going to show you how to modify one into the cabless B unit here. Which is something I don't think I've seen built in Minecraft. Because BNSF has these SD42B units they inherited from Santa Fe. So let's get right into the build here. So we're going to start off with the front end this time. Which for me is going to be over here. And we're going to take polished blackstone stairs. We're going to put three on the bottom middle. And an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, we're going to put a polished black stone block on the top middle. And two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to the second block in the middle for the coupler. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then we're going to open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom here. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here and two lightning rods on this side. Now, come behind here in the middle, do a three block tall T shape of polished black stone. Hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. And behind that, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're going to put three smooth quartz slabs coming up this gap and three on this side and then three oak slabs on this top metal. Then right here, two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head for the MU cable. Then behind this, skip one block forward and get a netherite wheel on each rail with a cauldron in between them. Then in the middle, we're gonna put a string and a lectern. Then we're gonna put two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of either side. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then a lectern in the middle again here. And two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side. Then a final set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. Then a string in the middle with a lectern. Then take a dark oak fence gate. One here. One here. Come down to this end and put one here. And one on this other side. Then we're going to go through and put a dark oak fence gate in the middle here and here. Then on the sides of all six wheels, we're going to put a hopper. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the sides of all three hoppers. And do the same thing on this side, a wither skeleton skull on all these hoppers. Then we're going to come up top on the middle on the second layer and put a line of polished black stone block up the middle until you're above this lectern. Then on the side of that we're going to do a full row of dark oak fence skates here and a full row of dark oak fence skates right here. Now directly in front of this on the bottom we're going to make a 3 by 15 of polished black stone block on the bottom middle. So 3 blocks wide and 15 blocks long. And just fill this all in so it's a rectangle here. And I actually miscounted so I had to add one more make sure it's 15 blocks long. So that's the base of the fuel tank and now we'll do the front truck. So come up here, a dark oak fence gate on either side. Then another right wheel on each rail with a cauldron between them. Then a string and a lectern in the middle. Two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side. Then a dark oak fence gate here. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in the middle. Then a lectern in the middle. Two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side. Dark oak fence gate here. Then a final set of netherite wheels here with a cauldron in the middle. 
and then dark oak landscape on either side here. In the middle, a string and a lectern. Now come through on the sides of every wheel. We're going to put a hopper. Then same as before, we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each of the three hoppers. And then same thing on this side over here. Then come on the side of the fuel tank and put a full row of upside down polished blackstone stairs facing outward. And we'll do the same thing on this side, full row of polished blackstone stairs here. Then take out polished blackstone block, come at this end of the fuel tank, two rows of three in the middle, then two rows of three in the middle at this end. In between here on the upper hit box, we're going to fill this top middle three in three wide with polished black stone slab and bring it down to this end of the fuel tank. Then we'll come in front of this in the middle and run a line of polished black stone block up the center of this truck till it's above this lectern. Then a full row of dark oak bench gates here and on this side here. Come to this back end here and behind this we're going to do a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle, and hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. Behind that, three polished black stone on the bottom middle, and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Then five polished black stone across here. Then, take a dark oak stair for the coupler and stack it up to the middle second block under it a sideways dark oak fence gate, then open a fence gate on either side of that, then two lightning rods here, two here, then three smooth quartz slabs coming up this gap, three on this side, then three oak slabs on this top middle. Now we'll come stand on top of this here, crouch, and put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all six hoppers. Then in between them, skip one hit box down, two here, two here, and same thing on this side, two here, two here. So our truck from the side should look like this now. Then we're gonna repeat the process for the other truck. So come up here and crouch, a slab on top of all six hoppers, then move one hitbox down, two here, two here, then two here, and two right here. Then we'll take out a dark oak fence, and above this middle wheel, put one in the center. Same thing right here. Repeat the process on this truck. So a fence here, and a fence here. Then on each of the other two wheels, put a sideways grindstone like this and then one here and one here. Repeat that at the other end. One here, one here. Then one here and one here. Then we'll come up here and crouch again. And right here, two lightning rods. Same thing over here. And then repeat the process here and here. Now we gotta do the same thing on the other truck. So we'll come right down here and crouch. Two lightning rods here, two here, then two here, and two over here. Now come up on the front of the fuel tank, one block back, a mangrove button on each side, then an inward facing dragon head like this. Same here, so a button here, and an inward facing dragon head here. Then a sideways dark oak fence gate here and here, and then one going this way behind it on each side. Then a full row of sideways anvils behind that fence gate to the back for the air tank. And then same thing on this side of the fuel tank, a full row of sideways anvils here. Now come down here and crouch and put a mangrove sign on the side of this fence gate. 
do the same thing on this side, crouch, and put a sign on this one right here. Now, come up top on this third layer here, and we're gonna fill the whole top middle three up here, end to end, with polished black stone block. And bring it right down to the other end here. Then, on this top, outside edge, we're going to go end to end up here with yellow concrete. Then same thing on this side, end to end with yellow concrete. Then we're going to come in front of the fuel tank on the conductor side here. And right up under here, we're gonna hang a bell right here. Now we'll start on the nose here. So we're gonna come on top of the front end, on the center, on the fourth block back in the middle here, and put a column of three orange concrete right here. Then on the side here, a black concrete here and here, and two orange concrete above each side. Then behind that, we'll extend it back another two blocks. So two black concrete and a two by two of orange. Same thing on this side. Right here, close the jungle trap door for a brake wheel and fill in this middle with orange concrete. Then put two black concrete on the bottom here, two here. On this side, we're gonna come back six blocks of black concrete. On this side, come back four. Then four orange concrete here, four here. Then up here, an orange concrete, two black. On this side, an orange concrete at the back and two black. Then we're gonna put a door here, an orange concrete in this corner, turn this way, and a door here. Come to the back over here, put another orange concrete right here. Then we're gonna put a door here, turn this way, and a door here. Then two cyan stained glass here, orange concrete. Then on this side, two cyan stained glass, orange concrete at the back. On this middle, orange concrete in the middle, cyan stained glass on either side. Above it, black concrete in the middle, orange concrete on either side in the front of it. Then orange stained glass panes in those two corners. Then fill the rest of this, three wide up here with black concrete to the back of the cab. Then we're going to take out acacia stairs and put four outward facing stairs up here and four outward facing stairs up here. Now that our basic shape of the cab is done, we're gonna come down to the rear end here with black concrete, and we're gonna be working on the middle block, and we're gonna be on the fifth block back. So leave a gap of four blocks, and on the fifth block, we're gonna put black concrete, and it's gonna go in a pattern like this. Above that, we'll do two layers of orange, and above that, two layers of black concrete. Then we'll come down here, and we'll fill in each side on bottom with a single layer of black concrete. And we're gonna bring it forward on each side till it's right here. Then above that, we'll do two layers of orange concrete on each side. to the front on each side here until you get right here. And then above that, we'll do a layer of black concrete again on each side and bring that right up to the front. Just like that. Now come on top of the back, a cobbled deep slate in this middle. Then another seven cobbled deep slate coming forward. And actually this needs to be too tall, so knock out this row of black concrete underneath it here and make another layer of cobbled deep slate under there. 
do the same thing over here, take out this bit of black concrete. On the sides of this, we're gonna do two layers of three iron bars, two black concrete, and then two layers of three iron bars over here. Repeat the process on this side. So two layers of three iron bars on each side and two black concrete in the center here. Now come up here behind the cab, put two rows of three black concrete across this top. Behind that, three polished basalt on each side, black concrete in the center, and a three by three of polished black stone slabs on top of it. Behind this, we're gonna put a smoker in the center, a black concrete on either side, and three behind it. Surround it with this C-shape of dark oak trapdoors. Then we'll just go ahead and fill the rest of this top three wide with black concrete up here till it gets back here and it's all filled in. Then on the side of the top, one block in front of the iron bars, an upside down, backward spacing polished black stone stair on each side. Then five outward facing deep slate tile stairs, five over here, then an outward facing polished black stone and a forward facing polished black stone stair. Same thing here. Then come back here with polished black stone slabs. We'll make a plus shape, then a second, and a third. Put oak trapdoors in the centers for fans. Then in the middle of this section, two plus shapes of polished black stone slabs. Cobble deep slate in the center of each, and an oak trapdoor. Then a dark oak trapdoor right there. Now behind the cab on this side, put a black shulker box, and then a full row of polished black stone slabs coming back until you're above this first back wheel. Then under this polished basalt, two rows of three orange stained glass panes, and above it, a row of three black stained glass panes for the blower. Then we're gonna come back here. We're gonna change this block to black wool, and this block to black wool. Then take black carpet down this walkway, and then come right across here, a T-shape on the very back. Then we'll bring black carpet all the way up this walkway, and you can get one up on this stair. Come on the front, two here, three here, change this corner one to black wool. Then go back to carpet, come across here with it, a T-shape on the front, change this block to black wool, then two here, one here. Now come up top with a T-shape of black carpet up here. Then we're gonna put two cut red sandstone slabs here, dark oak trap door behind it, and a dark oak fence gate here. Fill the rest of this top section with black carpet. Then we'll come back here and start getting around it in between these fans with black carpet up here. And on this side, then the horns back here. So right here, we're gonna open back to back dark oak fence gates. Then go ahead and fill the rest of this with black carpet. Then get in between all of these back fans. And all the way down to the back end here. Now we'll do our railings. So right here, take birch fences, come up by four. Here, we'll go ahead and come up three, then over one and up two. Same thing over here, up three, over one, up two. Then here, come up four. Then we're also gonna need a chain here. We're gonna put two dark oak fences here, two here, and then a chain across this gap. Then take dark oak fence, come back to here, then up one over one, up one over one. Then come to this side, come back to, then up one, and then back to. Now we'll work on the back, so go back to birch fences back here. Right here, come up four. Here we come up three over one, up two. Here, come up three, over one, up two. 
here, come up four. Then two dark oak here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then take your dark oak fences, connect it up right here, and start bringing it forward. And we'll come down right here, and then one on top right here. Then we'll come to the back on this side, and connect our dark oak fences up here, and start bringing it forward on this side. Then right here, we're going to go up one over one, up one over one. On this side of the cab, we're going to put a white stained glass pane right here. Then we're going to crouch and put an orange banner over this door to cover it. Then we have to do the same thing on the door on this side. So come over here, and we got to crouch and get an orange banner on this side door here. Just like that. Now come on the nose, and on the corner of either side, put a black stained glass paint on bottom, and then two orange stained glass paints on either side. Then we'll come down to the back. Back here, we put a black stained glass paint on the bottom of each side, then two orange, and then two black. Now we'll come up front. On either side of these fences, a glow item frame with frog lights. Then we do the logo on the middle of the nose here. So we need an acacia sign. And that's wrong, it has to be on the middle block. And we're going to type BNSF in all capital letters. Hit that with a glow exact. Then on this top middle, a glow item frame with a frog light. On the side of it, a dark oak sign. And we're going to have our locomotive number on this, which is going to be 1595. Same thing on this side. Then we'll hit these with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll come down and work on the rear end here. So back here, Acacia sign here with BNSF. I typed the number there on accident, make sure that says BNSF. Hit it with white dye. Above it, a glow item frame, frog light. Then a dark oak sign on each side with 1595. Hit those with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then come back here, glow item frame on either of these fences with a frog light. Then come up here, two acacia fence gates here and a dark oak fence gate on top. Then come cover the top of this nose with orange carpet. Next, we're going to come into a loom with an orange banner and cyan dye. Make the top half cyan, then put an orange border on it. And this is for the cab windows we can do. We can't do this because of how we do the doors now. But we'll put one here. And come around here. One on the back here. Now we have a lot more banner work to do for all the details. So we're going to come back into a loom with an orange banner and black dye. We're going to put a vertical on each side, then a horizontal on the top, bottom, and middle. New banner, vertical on each side, and a diagonal. New banner, diagonal, Horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, vertical on the left, horizontal on the top and middle. Then we'll put an orange border around all four of these. Then we're going to do a new banner in black dye. And we're going to make the bottom half black. Then another one with the top half black and a yellow horizontal on both of those. Now we're going to come and place these. So we're going to come up on the side under this first dynamic brake fan here in the orange and we'll use our banners to put BNSF. Then we'll do the same thing on this side. 
use our banners right here to put BNSF. Then take our banner with black on the top, start right here, and put a full row up here. Then we'll come around to the other side. We'll put one here, a full row right here, then a full row here, one here, one here. Come around this side, one here, here, and a row right here. Then switch to the one with black on the bottom, down here, and start putting a row across here. We can take out this carpet to get the stripe right there. Then jump out and put a full row across here. And we'll take out these two carpets to get a row on the side here. Come in here, do the same thing. We'll take out these carpets and put a row here. Then a full row right here. Then two here. Three here. Then a full row down to the back down here. Come back around this side. And a full row down here. So we have our yellow pinstriping. Now we'll do the interior. So come on inside here. We're gonna put two frog lights down here for hidden lighting. Then smooth stone slabs at the same level of the door and fill this whole floor in. Back here, two blast furnaces. Then a stair on each side for seats. Two slabs here with two levers on it. And up here, a glow item frame with a recovery compass. And now the interior is all done here. And that completes the build for the single SD40-2 here. What we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build another one of these. And we're gonna learn how to modify the second one into the Catalyst B unit. So we're gonna come up here and start deleting stuff. We'll start up here, take off all this up here, then this whole row in the front windows. Then we're gonna go ahead and take off the whole top of the cab to the back of the cab and all the stuff above it here. Tedious, but much easier than doing a whole new build for this. Then we can take off these doors, these windows, these two layers of blocks. Then we'll go ahead and continue on. We'll take off this row of orange concrete as well. Then we'll take out all this interior stuff. And you can take out those lights that are down there. Take off these doors and these top three layers on this side as well. Make sure you get that mirror and this layer of orange concrete. Then it actually still does have a raised area here. So we'll have to fix the railings, take off these top two railings here. And we'll have to come in and grab Darko Fence and just bring this railing straight across here. Do the same thing over here. We'll take off these top two over here and then bring the railing straight across here. Then we're gonna come up here, take this orange carpet off. Then we're gonna fill these sides in where the gap is with two layers of orange concrete on each side. Then we'll come up on the top here with two layers of orange concrete starting back here and coming up each side. And we'll come right to the front and two on the middle here. Then two more orange stained glass panes on each side like this. And we'll also go ahead and fill this whole top gap with orange concrete here. Then we're gonna take out ladders. And right here, we're gonna put 
a column of ladders coming up. And we'll do the same thing right here on this side. Now come up top back here, remove these two fence gates and replace them with black carpet. Then right here on each side we're going to put two daylight sensors in front of it in the middle back to back fence gates. Then take black carpet up here, a T-shape on the nose, and bring it back till it's aligned with where these ladders are. Now come up front, we're going to delete this sign. Then on the sides up here, we're going to put an acacia sign right here with 301 on each side. We'll hit those with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll come down to the back and we'll delete the signs off here. Then down here, we'll do an acacia sign with 301 under the headlight. I was having some trouble typing it. Hit that, white dye, glow ink sack. Then we need to grab another dark oak fence gate. And we'll put one on the left here to complete this ladder. Now, come into a loom with an orange banner and black dye. One with the top half black, one with the bottom half black. Then put a yellow horizontal on the middle of each of those. Then do a yellow banner and black dye. We're gonna do a border on it, this plus shape, then a horizontal in the center. And this is for the logos. So take this yellow one, put one right here for the logo. Come down to the back, put one on the middle of the back right here for the logo. Then we're going to come up on the side here, put this one with the top half black right here, and four of the ones with the bottom half black down there, so we complete our stripes like that. Repeat it over here, so this one here, and then four of the other one down here. Then we can clear some of these, and we just need to make our number banners. So we need orange dye, black dye, orange banner. Come in here, orange banner and black dye. Vertical on the right, horizontal on the top, bottom, and middle. New banner. We're gonna do a vertical on each side. Horizontal on top and bottom. New banner, vertical in the middle. Then put an orange border on all three of these. Then we'll come up here. Right here, we're gonna put 301. And then same thing on this side, right by this ladder, put 301. accidentally knocked out that spot, so I had to fix it. Just like that. And now our B unit is all completed here. So there we have it, folks. This completes our BNSF SD40-2 locomotive tutorial with attached B unit. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.